welcome back to my channel. I have a super exciting haul for you guys. This one's really fun because I decided to kind of curate this haul to be focused around what my zodiac sign would wear. And my zodiac sign is a Virgo. And happy Virgo season to all of my fellow Virgos out there. My birthday is September 17th and let me know in the comments when your birthday is and what your sign is. Today's haul is also sponsored by Princess Polly so thank you Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. My discount code this time is Michelle 20 which will get you 20% off the entire site. I always love shopping with them and working with them because they have the cutest stuff and it's convenient to shop with them too because they ship from within the US. They offer free express shipping to US addresses on orders over $50 and they even offer after pay and shop pay for US customers. And before we get into the haul, I just wanted to talk about what I was looking for while I was shopping. So like I said, I focused this video around me being a Virgo and what I would wear. And Virgos are earth signs, so I went with a lot of earthy colors, earthy tones, so lots of browns, beiges, sage green, white. So that's kind of the color palette that I was going for. And the styles are more like feminine, kind of tailored, and they just have a more like polished and sophisticated look to them. They're also super comfy and practical. Like an outfit can be super cute, but if I don't feel comfortable in it, and if I feel like I'm gonna have to be messing around with the straps all day or the length or whatever detail, then I don't want it. So that's why I really try to find pieces that don't require a lot of like thought or effort, but they all still look cute as hell. So I'm super excited to share these with you guys. Here's a little preview what we've got today lots of neutral colors greens whites blacks in here like i mentioned so i'm going to show you each item individually first and then in the second half i'll style them all together so let's get started with the haul so i'm first going to start off with what i'm currently wearing because i am dressed in princess polly already so this top is such a good basic to have in your closet it's like a closet essential especially for me so it's a little sleeveless crop top it has these nice thick straps and it's a nice thicker material too and i also love the square neckline i feel like this neckline is really flattering on me but it's just the perfect basic to have in your closet and then for my pants i'm wearing these brown plaid pants they have this tie in the front here and some ruching as well so you can actually tighten it and like make it a little more ruched like that like you can see but I kind of like it flattened out like this and then I just tied a bow at the front here and it's super high-waisted and I love that it fits me like a glove it does flare at the legs oh, I'm not wearing any shoes right now <laughs> Flare leg pants are very trendy right now, but I think they're also just super comfortable. And it's also perfect for the fall, which is coming up and I'm super excited for it. So that's what I'm wearing right now. And now I'll show you the rest of the items. So I'm gonna start off with the tops that I got. So first one is this really adorable crop top again. I feel like I only ever get crop tops or bodysuits, but this one is so adorable. It's very girly and feminine, but still super comfortable to wear. And you can wear it kind of like on your shoulders or off the shoulders, and you can even adjust the front ruching to be longer or shorter if you want it. It looks really elegant, but it's very effortless at the same time, which is what I loved about it. And the next one is another crop top, are we surprised? But it's in this like army green color. It has a more muted green tone, which I like, and I've been really into high neck crop tops lately. So this one does have a higher neckline but it's still sleeveless so it's a good transitional piece but again it's like fitted to your body so you can easily layer with it. Next up is this little sweater vest and yes I finally caved and gave into the sweater vest trend. It's been trending for quite some time now but I don't know I never thought it would suit me but I decided to just try it out and see how I like it and it's a little more fitted. I kind of wanted one that was a little bit more fitted so that I could wear it on its own or I could layer it on top of like a collared shirt or something which is how a lot of fashion bloggers and Instagram girls have been wearing these. But yeah, we'll play around with this today and see how I style it. And the last top is this super adorable sweater. It's just like a crew neck sweater in this like beige tan color. And it's so cute because it has these orange butterflies. They're like monarch butterflies. The back is plain, but I just wanted a cute cozy sweater. And surprisingly, I don't have a crew neck sweater yet. So that's why I went for this one. So this 
next one is gonna be kind of hard to show you just in my hands it'll be a lot clearer once it's on my body but it's a three-piece set and it's like a lounge set so it comes with a super cute cardigan it's this like nice knit material super like thick and warm too it just has some big buttons going down the side here and two front pockets it comes with a super cute little bralette look at that and of course matching shorts so I had my eye on this set for a really long time, actually for like months, but they have been sold out for so long. But they finally restocked in my size, and I think I got this in a size small, yeah, I got this in a small medium. And it's so cozy and so soft and not itchy at all. I've been wearing the cardigan on its own, and it's so perfect for the SF weather right now. It's been around the 60s, and it's so thick that it still keeps me warm. Now onto our bottoms, I have this pair of pants which is this really pretty sage green color they're kind of like these tailored dress pants pants like this have been just like my go-to because they're so comfortable and it's actually this really nice like not shimmery material but when the light hits in certain ways then it does look like there's a little bit of a sheen to it which i thought was actually really cool a nice silky look to it that's it it looks very silky <laughs> these i got in a size two and these fit me so perfectly it sits nice and high-waisted as well which is what I always look for in a pair of pants I want them to be super high-waisted and you could definitely dress these up or down also in the pants category are these black denim jeans that I picked up they are more like a straight leg and they are high-waisted it has this like washed worn in look to the fabric which i usually prefer in my jeans and i just didn't have a pair of jeans a pair of black jeans that were clean and non-distressed so that's why i went for these so next up we have this shirt dress so it's just all white in this like nice linen material and it's super cute because the sleeves have this like tie detail definitely a dress length on me because i mean it is a shirt dress but you can even wear it as like a cover up and I also think it's super versatile so we love that and I believe this is my final clothing item but I just got this super cute oversized baggy hoodie it's a zip up hoodie and it's this nice kind of peachy tan color oh my gosh and it's nice and lined on the inside it's got this super nice soft fuzzy material and it's just a super comfy and cozy cardigan I mean not cardigan hoodie jacket whatever you want to call it so yeah i love this one i've already worn it a bunch of times i even washed it and it's still nice and soft so lastly i have some accessories to show you guys first up i want to show you this adorable purse that i picked up it's this sage green color i think it's so pretty and i have been looking for a more like statement purse i have so many like black purses but i wanted one that was a different color but one that wasn't too loud or bright so sage green it was so i love that it has this thick strap it's adjustable as well you can wear it crossbody like how i am now or it comes with this silver chain so if you don't want to wear it crossbody like this you can remove the thicker strap and wear it as a shoulder bag how stinking cute is this what in the world i love this color i feel like it just goes with so many other colors even with this outfit i feel like it goes really nicely this one is also removable so you can use either strap that you want and it's a pretty decent size too like you can fit quite a few things in here there's even a little inside pocket too so you have a little bit of organization so that's always nice so next up we have these blue light blocking glasses now i sometimes wear my contacts when i'm working sometimes i'm like shooting and filming content and then i need to go to my computer and work on some stuff and edit and then i need to go back to filming and then just like jumping back and forth and i don't usually like to work with my contacts on i usually prefer to wear my glasses but i don't want to take out my contacts and then have to put them back in like an hour later but if i do use my contacts for long periods of time sitting at the computer then my eyes tend to feel really strained so that's why i got these i know there's no like real scientific evidence to back up whether blue light lenses actually work or not but like even if it's a placebo i feel like it'll still work on me because placebos do work on me but they're also pretty cute i really like the clear like transparent frames and it's in this like champagne color and finally we have claw clips so i got this 
two pack and it comes with a light green one and a more beige tan color. So clock lips have been so popular lately and I mean I understand why because they're so cute but functional. Lately I've been preferring to use these clips instead of like scrunchies or hair ties because they work just as good if not better and they look cuter. You can use these in different ways too. My usual go-to way is to just clip up some of my hair and then just let the other half just drape over the clip. Or another way to do it is kind of like twist your entire length of hair, bring it up, hold a finger here, bring the ends down, and then clip it. So this way is super cute too, but it's better to keep all of your hair in one bunch. And these are great too because they're really big, so if you have thick hair and long hair then I feel like these would still work for you but my hair is really thin but it is long so I do still have a lot of it but it still works so perfectly for my hair like it's so secure too like I'm <laughs> I'm shaking my head violently and it's still like in place so now let's hop into the styling portion so I'll show you guys a bunch of different ways that you can wear all the pieces that I picked out okay so here's the first look the one that I was just wearing but now I styled it with some chunky sneakers and my sneakers are also from Princess Polly I'll link them below as well but yeah I feel like these pants because they're flared look so cute with like chunky sneakers or you could even wear them with like boots some like cute little Chelsea ankle boots you can make it super cozy with this hoodie over it. So now here are the sage green pants. These are so comfortable. Like I said, nice and high-waisted, got two pockets, and they are kind of long on me, so I did this little trick to make them fit better because if I didn't, then they would be dragging on the ground, even in these platform sneakers. But what I did was just take a hair tie and just like wrap it around my ankle. I put it on top of the pants and then just pull the fabric through and then it'll just drape over super nicely and you won't even be able to tell like even from the back so there's a little hack if you can't get your pants tailored and of course I can't forget my little purse the greens match so perfectly and now you've got a little matching purse pants moment I almost forgot to really tie together the whole green theme I have my claw clip and there we go. It might be a little bit messy, but now we've got the whole sage green theme complete. So I just swapped out the top and I feel like this also works with the outfit. I actually wore this out like running errands and we even went on a little picnic too. It was so comfortable. I love how the top fits on me. And like I said, you can wear it more on your shoulder or a little bit more like off the shoulder. But yeah, I think this is a super cute dressy casual look for the daytime. All right, so here are the jeans on. They're so nice and they fit me so well. Even from the back, they just like hug all the right places. I did end up rolling it at the bottom just so that my ankle shows a little bit more. And my shoes are also from Princess Polly, linked below. And I paired it with the white short sleeve top. And I feel like this is such a cute like going out at night outfit. Super comfy, kind of casual, but still cute and put together. So I swapped out the top for the crew neck sweater, switched out my shoes for these like chunky sandals, and I just feel like I'm so ready for fall. Like I feel so cozy yet comfy. And I also did that thing where you talk the bottom of the sweater into your bra strap or like the band of your bra which turns it into a crop top but requires no tucking into jeans so it's a lot more freeing that way and the butterfly pattern is so cute it's very small and dainty and minimal which i love so now i have on the crop top from earlier and the cardigan which is part of that like sweater set and i feel like it just works so perfectly i love this little slit the two pockets and the buttons i can imagine wearing this like if i were we're still in college like going to a coffee shop or the library to like study and get some work done the cozy vibes are again very strong with this one and i'm loving it all right so i'm wearing the lounge set now and it is so freaking cute i feel so cozy and it's not like an itchy type of material either like it's very very 
very soft. This is what the top looks like, the matching shorts as well. It's a nice like longer length and uh, I feel like after this video, I'm just gonna change into this and work in bed for a while because this is just so comfy and cozy. If you're just like working from home, just throw this on. And I love matching sets because you can just wear each part of the set and you're good to go. You look so put together and so cute. Oh my gosh, I feel extra comfy cozy in this. I'm still wearing the shorts from the set and I threw on the sweater with the butterflies and I just feel so comfortable like I could just sleep in this. So here's how I styled the sweater vest. I actually tucked it into the band of my bra to turn it more into like a crop top and I paired it with this skirt which has this houndstooth pattern all over the skirt is also from Princess Polly so I'll link it below and I also put on some chunky boots and I feel like this actually works a little bit preppy, girly but still a little bit tough with the boots, you know? So here's one way to style the dress shirt. I wore this recently in an Instagram post and follow me on Instagram if you aren't already because I'm pretty active on there. But yeah, I feel like I should be going on vacation or something in this outfit. It just makes a really good cover-up and just adds a bit more flair to an outfit, you know? And I always like to wear cardigans, jackets, or like shirts like this a little bit off the shoulder. I know it's not super practical, but this is one thing that a Virgo can let slide, I think. <laughs> so here's a dress shirt all on its own. I think it's a good length because it hits like right at mid-thigh for me. And even the back is a good length, so it's like not too short at all. And I think it's actually pretty cute. It's nice and drapey. Again, I love the little string details at the wrist. This could totally work as like a brunch outfit or something. Just pair it with some cute ankle boots. Can't forget the purse as well. Then I've got a complete look. Okay, now here's something I've been dying to try since I got these pieces. But I actually layered the sweater vest over the shirt dress. And I feel like it actually kind of works. Like I've been seeing girl style sweater vests like this, like on top of a collared shirt. So I wanted to try it, but I wasn't sure if it would work because a lot of their sweater vests are like a lot baggier, looser, oversized. Mine is a lot more fitted. And this shirt is really long, but I don't think it looks too bad. And I just paired it with some chunky boots. I feel like this is a look. It's a little bit more classy, but still a little bit edgy. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed styling outfits that I think a Virgo would wear. Let me know what your zodiac sign is in the comments, and also let me know what your favorite outfit was. My favorite would either be the set or this one. This one was actually very unexpected, but I think I like it because it was so unexpected because I really didn't think this would work. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Thank you again to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. All the clothes and accessories will be linked in the description box so go check that out and use my discount code michelle20 to get you 20% off the entire site as always please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye